and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at uh, the pain title and this is probably going to be a quicker one. Uh, just because it's a very simple add-on by the looks of it, but yeah, it, uh, my, you know. Uh, I've not really got much else to review this month, so yeah. Uh, I'm kind of taking what I can right now. Um, and then like probably Monday will be like the update video on on uh, the magic spell add-on. So you got Lily here with me today. You want to say hello to the peoples? Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Give, give me a woo. You woo woo. A woo woo woo. Yeah. Okay. Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, my lovely girl. Yes, you are. Anyway. Hello. Yes. Mwah. Oh, it's one of these books. Oh, no, look, that's why did I scare you, Bubba Boo? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, you want. Oh, are you going to bring me a toy? Come on then. Oh, she's come to show me a toy. Oh. You crazy dog. He's tried to squeak it. The squeak is a bit broke because. It does work because it's just a bit damaged because he squeaked it so much. Barely squeaks anymore. Anyway. Uh, welcome to the main. Hey, are you all in everything? Yep. So, step one you need to craft a paintbrush, which is a stick and four feathers. Does it need to be M M M T? Oh yeah, there we go. M. So there's empty paintbrush. I don't know what premium paint. Well, the difference between that and premium is. Step two: craft the empty bucket. So that's a bucket and the empty paintbrush. So, uh, uh, empty bu paint bucket, and that's the premium one. Don't know what the difference between that and the premium. And then you craft, and then you fill the bucket with paint, so you just craft it with a die. Tip, you can also fill the empty bucket with paint by interacting. Okay, so let's get some day. Let's do cyan, because cyan's my favourite. So... Yeah, so like you place it down, you inter you can interact to fill it, and you can also just like craft it together. And then you ah, there we go, and now I got a cyan paintbrush. So now I can paint the stone cyan. Okay, so it does all sides. Is it, this is cool. Oh, well, does it work on these? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't work on these blocks because it. You know I mean? Does it work on ores? It works on ores! Oh, that's cool. Um. Oh, let me just go to Game of Zero real quick. So I'm pretty sure uh, it. I could. I um, could use it infinitely because I was in creative mode, but how many uses does it have in survival? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15. So you get 15 uses per like refill. And that's three we and that's three so that's fifteen uh thirty uh forty so that's forty five uh blocks per die. Hold on, if I mine a painted block, do you get do I just get the do I get the cyan block? Oh, you can mine. Oh, so you can mine them when you can. Yeah, so it's turn so it turns into cyan painted stone. So it's not just a like layer on top of the block. It's an actual uh, block itself. And now, oh, what if you paint an ore and you mine the ore? Will will you get the painted ore? Or will you get ah? So yeah, do be uh, be aware that if you do paint an ore, you will uh, just get the ore back when you mine. You won't be able to get the uh, more ore. You can probably like mess with somebody, like get some diamond ore, paint it to be like light grey, uh, where it'll be like you'll be able to be able to tell the difference between it and like regular. St Hold on, let me let me test that out. So. Uh, Hold on. If I give at the diamond or actually, you should, should do deep slate diamonds because it's easy to get deep slate diamond or. Ah, I don't think you'd be able to... Actually, I don't think you could do that with Deep Slate Diamond because it's it's a very messy texture, so you can't... I don't really think there'd be, like, a single die you could use. Like, if I... Yeah, like, black die. Hold on, I need to go to Game Edge 1. If I get a black die... Yeah, it's way, that's way too black. Dark, so yeah. Oh, that would have been funny if you could do that. But that is cool looking diamond ore, though. I like how that... So yeah. I'm pretty sure you could just... Oh, I did not mean to go into the nether. I was... I slipped into it because of the ice. Yeah, pretty sure you can just like apply this to any block. Oh, yeah. does that still produce light? So it doesn't say here. So let me just, uh, I'm in creative mode. So let me take my arm off. E F effect at P clear. Um, oh yeah, it's still, oh, that's cool. So say, uh, unfortunately, I don't, yeah, you won't be able to, like, change, like, lava or water. That would be cool if you had, if you could have custom, uh, colored lava. Ooh, hold on. Let's get red. Die. I had all the dyes, though. I don't know why I decided to do that. So, I place that down. Red dye. So it changes all of it. I was, so yeah, I was thinking it would keep like the veiny bits the same, but now it does change all of it. Uh, change all of it. Hmm. I actually like this more as a deeper red. Makes it look bloody. Like it's just coated in the blood of the damned. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna... And then he's whinging at me for something. You want this? Is that what you're whinging about? Or do you want to come here? I don't know. You do whatever you want to do. Can you do it to the vines? Oh, you can't do it to the vines, unfortunately. Can you do it to mushrooms? Oh, yes, you can have custom mushrooms! Can you do it to the... F oh, you can! Okay, I am liking this way more than I thought I would. Yeah. But yeah, this just allows for like a lot more like creativity and customization of what you can and can't do. Now, um, if I miss a block in here that you're that you want to know what if it can if the paint can be used on, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll uh, test it out for you. Um, and I'll get back to you. Oh, can you paint spawners? Oh, you can't paint spawners. Uh, that would probably break the spawners, so they probably dip. Uh, don't allow you to do that. That's just red never brick. Oh, but now you can have blue never brick. Also, can you re... Yeah, you can repaint stuff. Yeah. But yeah, this just allows a bunch more, like, customization of the bills. Oh, that, that is a shame. You can't do the wall. So there's probably like stuff like, uh, so from my experience with helping the creator of Essentials while we were beta testing uh, Alchemy, while I was helping beta test Alchemy, uh, there are some like items and blocks that they can't, they just can't tell the difference between because they just have the like the same item ID but and stuff, so that, that thing was like walls and maybe, and slabs, so I don't know if they, you'll be able to do slabs. Let's try slabs. I just do know there are like some blocks with the, like, that share the same item ID and you can't, so they can't tell the difference between them. Now you can do slabs. By the looks of it. Yeah, you can do slabs. Uh, what else? Uh, hold on, let me... Game mood is zero, and I'm gonna die real quick. Respawn. You made one. Hold on. Ah. Ah. Don't think you can do... Oh, you can't paint shulkers, I guess. Oh, and you can't paint them. So I don't think you'll be able to paint containers because containers are... Um, and like crafting tables because, you know, because of their functionality. So like if I just get a regular chest here... I don't think you'll be able to paint it. Yeah, no. Uh, probably because I would do quite a bunch of work, and if I remember correctly, at least last time I heard from, again, the uh, uh, creator of Essentials, they said they can't really make chests. But like even the uh, add-on that, the no more grinding add-on that, they had to use, like, the vanilla barrels, and they had to do some trickery with that. So I don't know if they could add in, I don't know if they can add entirely new chests. Um, oh, you can't do ice either. Or pack tax, that's a bit of an odd one to not be able to do. I guess it's, yeah, I didn't really think you'd be able to do new. Obviously, you can do die, right? Can you do leaves? You can do leaves, that's cool. Can you do the grass? Nope. Oh, you can, ah, you can do that. Okay, so you can't do two tall grass, but you can do one tall grass. Yeah. It changes a bit because, yeah, because of my texture pack. You have the two tall things. You can't do, so you can't do two tall things, apparently. You can do gravel. 
You can... Oh, that was... Uh, that was a grass block. I thought it was a snow block. Uh, what else should I try? Again, it would be really cool if you could do water liquids, but no. Voila. Uh, try some add-on blocks, but I don't think it, I don't think this will work with add-on blocks because I think what they what it needs uh, I think it or at least right now it's probably only vanilla blocks because it they basically need to add a st second block. So these are these aren't just uh, like I said earlier. These are this is this isn't just like a texture put on top of the block that's semi-transparent. Uh, it's an entirely new block. So if I get a so if I get a block that from an add-on, it probably won't work because it probably uh, is pro. Oh, I want to see this. Yes. Hold on. Let me get a black one. Black paintbrush. Oh, that's cool. Yes, yeah, is that I do like that better. So I think I do have some blocks from other add-ons in here somewhere. Yeah, so there's some right, so see it's tune. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, so it won't work with other add-ons, at least for now. Uh they should definitely update it in the future to be compatible with other add-ons. I would love to see that. So yeah, uh Step four interact with the uh, uh Empty a uh, paintbrush from the main, yeah, and then you can color everything. Paint your world in all the different colors. Did you get carried away? Craft a cleaning sponge to remove paint. Cleaning sponge. So yeah, you can just use this to get rid of the paint. So yeah, again, this will just be like the inverse of the of painting it. Just uh, seeing what painted block it is and replace it with its normal non-painted variant. Uh, we get that in my year to be hard to obtain sponges, so you can craft a uh, cleaning rag with wool. While cleaning sponges have unlimited uses, a cleaning rag only lasts for one hundred uses. So yeah, I'd probably go with the cleaning rag. Uh, because it's far easier to get on sponges out of limited resource. Uh, paint blocks or... Oh, you can paint entities! So let's... Let's get a... Some... Pig... Red pig. So are these our own entities? Painted pig spawning. Okay, so by default they're white. So yeah, they are their own entities. Is there a Vindicate? A painted Vindicate. So, Vin... Hey, Vinny! Red. Oh, yes! Red Vindicator. Black Vindicator. So it just changes changes their trouser leg. Cyan trousers. Is uh oh some creep cyan creeper black creeper red creeper red creeper is I don't want the red creeper as much. 
Uh, all the bug thief. Oh, wait, no. Oh, sorry. Ah. Right, so yeah, uh, sponge, entities. Yeah, uh, tired of refilling your paintbrush. Craft the premium paintbrush. It has 64 uses since there's 16. Ah, oh, I thought I only had 15. Okay, 16 then. <laughs> The premium paintbrush will be coming a regular one once used up. Will be oh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, just like the premium paintbrush is the premium paint buckets too. The premium paint bucket has uh, more uses uh, to them like the premium paintbrush. Okay, okay. So you just craft them with a gold ingot. Uh, we understand that painting get every block one by one can be tiring, so here's a handy tool. A paint roller. Paint a 3x3 three three area, making it easier to paint a bit... Big... I think that's supposed to be area at the end of there. Also available as premium versions. Uh, looking for a more fun way to paint your will? Craft the throwable paint balls. On impact, they will paint it or... Well, let's get, oh wait, hold on, I need paint, bow, huh, bow, oh, it's all one word, paint, bow. Cyan. Purple and black. So if we go over here. Yeah, so it paints all possible blocks in a small area. These will be fun if you just want to spam a few around and you can play uh, like uh, dodge paintball or something with it. Like if you land, if you like get somebody with it, they're out. I don't know. They're a bit slow. I don't know. Oh, it would be cool if you could uh, craft a paint a, a ball, paintball gun and then you could shoot people shoot entities with it and it would deal damage and they'd turn them and like, paint them as well. I don't know how you'd make that work with players. I don't think you'd be able to make that work with players because I don't think you can interact with their skins. Mind you, if you add like an art, like uh, if they had like leather armor and it would like paint their armor maybe. Or something, I don't know. They would add like uh Splotches of the uh, paint. I don't know. You could probably do something with that. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool add-on. Let, uh, let me just show off the roller bush. Roll lime. So yeah, this just does a big three by three. But yeah, uh, yeah, pretty cool add-on. Definitely, uh, oh, yeah, I, I must grab out the tier list, let, uh, or rankings, or whatever you want to call it. So, let's get the, uh, the, like, thumbnail image. Oh, pardon me. Real quick, so go to library. Uh, and then go to add-ons. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, paint. So, let me grab this through screen, no more screenshot, it's snipping tool. Then, let's go over to here, paint 3D. Here we go, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna plop that there. 
Magic Select, Next. This one might be a bit of annoying. Ah. For some reason it really does not want to add the white border. Oh, why did you remove that? Get, I should have done this before I started the review, like I did last time, but I forgot this time, unfortunately. Because this one's a bit, being a bit difficult. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Done. There you go. Yeah. Why is it lagging? There's something heating up on my CPU or something. Let me close Minecraft. That tends to eat a Right, so I'm gonna put this in. You should consider it because. It doesn't really like massively change the gameplay of Minecraft. It just adds like a bunch of like customized billet, customized ability to the mobs and the uh, and blocks. So it doesn't like heavily impact like the base gameplay of Minecraft, which is why it's not highly recommended. Highly recommended is something that I think like massively like really like improves like the base gameplay of Minecraft or uh, something like the vault. Um, Vault is in there because it's really good for multiplayer servers, especially uh, if you're on one that allows you to steal. Uh, realism because it t improves like the visuals of Minecraft. Naturalist because it adds a bunch of stuff, makes the world feel more alive. More of Gunner because it adds a bunch of more, which so can be fun and uh, useful. Mute better jukeboxes because it, you know, it adds a bunch of like music and stuff, which is, you know, crafty creepers because it adds a bunch of unique creepers and, you know, just a Basically, all of these, like in, in my opinion, some way or another, improves the base like survival experience of Minecraft. And trains is here because one, I love trains, and two, they are ba basically better minecarts. Um, I've been playing with them on the realm, and the, it. Oh yeah, I have a well realm with a bunch of add-ons uh, that I've reviewed. Uh, I'm usually only like messing around with like the add-ons uh, in case there's something I missed, and then if I. Uh, uh, and then I can like put that down in the as a pinned comment of the review. So yeah, definitely. So if you want to join that, the join the Discord. It's free. Link in the description. And uh, uh, yeah, and that I can help you join the realm. And then the must-have add-ons are add-ons that, in my opinion, basically revolutionise and at least one aspect of the game, uh, or you know, like essentials and world utilities. They just add a bunch of like cool mechanics that, that just make life easier for you, basically. Tinker's Construct basically, you know, we completely changes how, uh, you like do smelting and uh, crafting get tools and weapons. 
uh, combine ores just adds a bunch of like new ore combination with like new armor and the weapon and new weapons and like blasters and stuff. So each of these like uh, that's and you know and like storage drawers just completely changes how you store items. And then these, and then basically these ones are just like, yeah, they're kind of cool, but not the most uh, useful, or there's just other add-ons that basically do the, do the same but different, but there's nothing really wrong with them. And these are the ones I really don't like, and I don't think you really should add, like I said. Anyway, so yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.